Hello, my name is Rizlian Trimi Benjadoun. I am uh, an interventional radiologist working at Hospital University of uh, Nîmes, a city uh, in the south of France. And um, today I will be talking to you about uh, cryotherapy and uh, painful um, musculoskeletal lesions. So the learning objectives in my paper was to, first of all, assess the safety of cryoablation in uh, painful musculoskeletal lesions and also assess the efficacy of this technique and try to uh, find criteria for a better patient selection. Painful musculoskeletal lesions can be a source of anxiety and uh, even depression, especially in patients with cancer dealing with chronic pain. And uh, cryoablation is a new mini, um, minimally invasive method that is really gaining in popularity because it enables uh, pain relief and uh, also destruction of the pain, uh, and, uh, which is the lesions. This is a retrospective review. We went through all our patients from December 2019 to uh, November 2022, and we included all the patients that we treated for painful musculoskeletal lesions with cryotherapy. We treated uh, 22 patients, uh, a total number of 32 procedures, and we um, had to uh, treat subcutaneous uh, metastasis, muscular metastasis, uh, bone uh, metastasis, uh, endometri uh, endometriosis nodules, and uh, some other kinds of lesions that were uh, fewer. And um, to assess uh, the data about pain, our take-home message is that cryoablation is a safe technique in treating musculoskeletal painful lesions. If we take the safety measures, of course, to protect the adjacent structures, and it is safe even in challenging locations. It is also an efficient technique in treating uh, painful lesions, but um, we have to stay modest in front of patients with painful lesions, and especially cancer patients, uh, because um, pain management can be very complex. And uh, it is best if we treat uh, the whole tumor uh, and not do partial ablation because in pa patients with partial ablation, we didn't notice an important uh, effect on pain. And the limitations of our study, uh, because there's always limitations, and it is that it is a monocentric and retrospective study. So there are some missing data uh, and especially um, missing data on pain evaluation before and after the treatment. So uh, this is why we really need to uh, investigate more. I think that cryo is really gaining uh, a lot of popularity. It has really this advantage on other ablative methods um, in a meaning that it mitigates pain and um, uh, itself cryo isn't painful. So there is this possibility to do cryoablation uh, under um, sedation and not uh, uh, total uh, anesthesia. So this can be very interesting in patients who are contraindicated to a uh, general anesthesia. And um, I think we can uh, go further with cryoablation and treating uh, benign lesions like uh, endometriosis, for example, and young women or young patients who also suffer from pain. I think there is um, uh, lots of possibilities uh, with cryoablation in the future.